Hi Libra, this is a general love reading for May 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. And it is going to be general, so it's not going to be for everyone, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person's other signs, or you can book a personal reading. If you are interested in one, all the information is in the description box. All right, and keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. So Libra, what are the overall energies for May? Ooh, all right. Well, Ascending really wanted to pop out. Let's see what else. Ascending and Healing, okay, wow. All right, so that is actually very, very positive for you, Libra. Um, I feel like this is you, it could be your person as well but there is a lot of ascending and a lot of healing, all right? And usually that happens after having dealt with a very difficult situation or even when we're still in the difficult situation. So yeah, I feel like you might be coming out of a difficult situation or just still processing it, but dealing with it in a way where it is helping you to heal and it is helping you to ascend. So let's see. So for the situation, we have the Page of Swords crossed by the Nine of Swords. All right, okay, well, someone is having a bit of a stressful time. Um, if this is you here, this could be the other person, or it could be, like I said, that you might still be going through the difficult time, but we, we'll see, we'll see. Um, I feel like there is something that somebody really wants to say. I, I mean, this could be you, but I mostly feel like it's the other person. Um, but yeah, roles can be reversed. Take it as it resonates. I feel like there's someone who really wants to speak their truth, but they're just very, very stressed about it. Very, very um, anxious, very fearful also. Let's see, recent past, we have the tower. Near future, we have the sun. All right, so it feels like, yeah, as I said, I feel like there was a very difficult... Um, series of events in the past with a particular person here. That's why we have the tower. And I feel like at least for you, the, the hardest part of it I feel is over. I feel like you have already gone through this tower where it just felt crazy, where it just felt so difficult. Like your, you know, your whole world was just crashing down on you, that kind of a thing. And I love this progression where it's moving you towards the sun. Um, after that tower, it's like finally moving towards happiness and fulfillment, which I feel is actually a direct result of the healing and the ascending, which stemmed from this tower, so there was a reason for it. Um, let's see, for your energy, we have the Two of Cups. For them, we have Judgment. More about you, we have the Knight of Swords. For them, the Three of Pentacles, Potential Outcome, the Ten of Swords, and message for you is the King of Pentacles. All right, don't freak out about that Ten of Swords. Um, again, I feel like, you know, I kind of feel like you and another person are like at complete opposite ends of a spectrum here. I feel like um, you are healing, you are ascending, and I don't, it's not that I'm saying that this person won't get there. I just feel like this tower has happened for you, but maybe it hasn't happened yet for the other person. And that could be what is coming up for them. All right, that Ten of Swords. We'll see when we clarify. Um, for you, the love, the love that you feel for this person, I feel is still there. Um... It's still there, but at the same time, I feel like you're taking action. You're not letting that stop you. If you had been waiting for this person, for example, I feel like you're not doing that anymore. There's still those feelings there, though, obviously. Um, but, but you're taking action. You're doing things. You're moving. You're moving forward, and I feel like you're doing that quickly. Um, for your person here, there is definitely major, major revelations that they're having. And this is why I feel like they are like a step behind you. I feel like it's this judgment which is leading up to that Ten of Swords, which is going to be like the um, the analogy of the tower for them. 
They also have the Three of Pentacles, so for some of them it could be that they're involved with another um, situation here. There might be some kind of a contract that is in, um, in between the two of you and maybe that was an issue. Either that or they might even be getting some external help. Again, we'll see when we clarify. So let's actually start clarifying. Let me clarify the Page of Swords with the Knight of Swords. All right, we have the Page of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Five of Cups. All right, so number one, that's a lot of cups, which is actually, it, it's good in a way because it's balancing out the swords here, um, which is a lot of in the mind, think, thinking, overthinking, um, just wanting to speak. I do see that there are emotions here because um, I do feel like this is mostly from your person. I feel like, you know, there's a lot of emotions. There's a lot of nostalgia. There's a lot of regret for the past, thinking about the past, maybe a lot of guilt, but just having the Five of Cups and the Six of Cups together, I mean, that's nostalgia very, very um, strongly as well. And then having the Page of Cups, I mean, those emotions, like I said, are there. And all of this is what is um, causing the stress. I, I mean, it's something to do with a regret about the past, of the way things happen, something that Whatever it was that led to this tower for you, this person is now feeling regret for, or possibly even guilt. And I feel like it could even be an apology that they want to give to you for, for some of you um, and for others of you just to speak their truth, just to speak their emotions, to speak about wanting a reconciliation, just maybe to even just talk about the past, something that happened about the past in order for them to either relieve the guilt or to just kind of... Um, help them deal with their grieving, but they're holding back and that's because they're feeling very, very stressed about it. All right, let's see what's going on with you. Let's see the Two of Cups. All right, we have the Chariot and the Ace of Wands and the one that also wanted to flip over here is the Three of Pentacles. All right. Yeah, so you're in this energy where, like I said, you still feel love for this person. And I feel like, yeah, you know, you have moved in a new direction with the chariot here. You've completely taken a new turn here. However, I feel like you're still open to the possibility of reuniting with this person, of coming back together with that Ace of Wands, like that's still, it's like when you think of that, I feel like you feel a spark still within you. You feel um, like a fire from within when you think about getting back together with this person. However, I feel like you're at this place now within yourself where you would only want that though if there was to be some kind of a compromise, if there was to be some kind of an agreement, some kind of a collaboration where, you know, it would have to be a team effort. You would want them to also um, put in that effort or provide something that maybe they weren't providing before. All right, I see this as like a working together as a team. And so for that to be there, I just assumed that that wasn't there in the past because I feel like that's your um, condition and it doesn't mean that you love this person conditionally. That's not what I'm saying. It's just that this is you respecting yourself and having your your boundaries, pretty much. Um, let's see the Knight of Swords. All right, well, we just got the world. So that's a completion. This is um, this is success. You are moving in a new direction, all right? It's the second time we're seeing that. We have the Chariot and we have the Knight of Swords. You're moving in a new direction, and I feel like you're doing that very, very successfully, and that you, you have learned a lot of lessons, all right, is also what is being indicated here. You have learned a lot of lessons throughout this um, connection and whatever it is that has happened, which is going along well with the fact that we have healing and ascending. All right, um, it's the learning of those lessons that have helped you to get to this point where you are now. So good for you, Libra. 
So let's see what's going on with the other person here. Let's see judgment. All right, so we have the High Priestess, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Okay, I see. So there was something here that they may have been taken for granted um, in the past, and they're having a huge, huge revelation about that. I feel like their eyes are now being opened, um, really being able to see. What your worth really was what was it that you were able to provide as this queen of pentacles are seeing you realizing that you were very nurturing you were very patient you were very loving um <clears throat> and i i also get that they're seeing you in this regard now as well and possibly even respecting you more for the progress that you have made because they can pick up on that energy and the reason i say that is also because we have the high priestess here which is intuition so they're picking up on that and at the same time again with the high priestess they're holding back they're having these realizations now which i feel are really really huge um of how much they took you for granted but they're holding back and i feel like that is what is stressing them out and that is what they would want to tell you and they're holding back I feel like it's just too intense for them to be able to um, communicate that just yet. Um, and maybe for some of you, maybe they are communicating this. It could be. It could be that they're still very, very stressed, but also communicating it at the same time. If they're not communicating, I feel like they're definitely um, keeping an eye on you or just really curious about what is going on with you. Let's see the Three of Pentacles. the three of swords the tower there it is i told you <laughs> i for you it's in the past and for them it's like coming up here judgment again wow and the devil all right that's really major energies here all right the devil the tower and judgment like if that's not like the hugest epiphany or revelation ever i don't know i don't know what it is really um that's how it's coming through here. I feel like there's definitely some divine intervention going on. Um, there's a lot of pain that this person is going through at the moment. I feel like they're getting help from the divine, but I also get that this is them now beginning to want to somehow work with you. Like that condition that I said that you have, which you may not have even expressed that to them, but it's like that's the energy that they're in. Like they would want to now be able to work with you and, you know, give their, you know, 50% or 100% or whatever, however you want to take that. Um, they're now in that energy. They're having, I, I kind of feel like this is more, a little bit more in the future, like in, in May or, you know, just maybe a couple weeks out from when you watch this. Um, they're going to be going through this big time and I feel like it's going to be very, very heavy and that's why we have the devil here because it's going to just bring up all of their fears to be processed. Um, not just fears, any kind of um, even addictions, obsessive thoughts, um, false perceptions about their own self, um, anything. Anything that is toxic, I feel is coming up to the surface. And I feel like it's mostly whatever it is that is toxic or whatever it is that is um, an illusion. Um, from within, from within their own self. This is what is coming up and it's going to create a huge tower. But through that comes this judgment, this revelation, this like a rebirth. And it is going to be painful. It is going to be painful. But with this comes then that understanding of, yeah, you know, um, a, a relationship, a connection, it needs to have teamwork. Teamwork as well as compromise. You have to compromise something. I mean, that's just how it is in most situations. All right, so let's see the sun for the near future. All right, we have the Knight of Cups and we have the Seven of Swords. 
Okay, really interesting. So I do feel like this opportunity for happiness is there and I feel like you're actually already in it. I feel like the Seven of Swords is possibly your person just kind of holding back from um, making this offer to you, which is kind of deceitful to their own self, holding back from doing that because that is something that they feel would bring them happiness and I feel like they're holding back from that. At least they're holding back to some extent. Now I'm also getting that for some of you this offer might come come through but that you might reject it. I still see you, I still feel like this is you though, still feeling um, like you are in a high vibrational state and that you are feeling fulfilled, you are feeling good about yourself regardless. Let's see the Ten of Swords. Potential outcome. Okay, Major Arcana cards coming out again. I'm telling you, this person that you're dealing with here is going through a lot, and a lot is still coming up. Um, like a crazy amount of Major Arcana for them as well. So clarifying the Ten of Swords, we have Temperance and we have Strength. So here's the thing, they're going to hit rock bottom. They haven't hit rock bottom yet. And that's why I feel like even if they do come forward, you might reject them because I feel like you're going to pick up on the fact that they're not, you know, 100% reborn just yet. Um, or, you know, really able to give to you that, that compromise or whatever that is. Um, they haven't hit the rock bottom yet. But that is what is coming up. But what I love about this is that, yeah, you know, that is needed. That Ten of Swords is needed for them. They need to get to that place. And after that, you know, there comes temperance, balance, healing. Um, this is very beautiful energy here. And it, it's also bringing them strength in order to achieve what it is that they want. And in order to bring about this healing and in order for them to ascend as well. All right, after, I mean, after this tower and this judgment here, I cannot imagine them not leveling up, not ascending, not healing. Like, that's just, that would really surprise me. And I'm seeing it here as well, all right? This temperance is also a lot about healing. So, and finding that inner balance. So for the message here, we have the King of Pentacles, which talks about stability. It talks about commitment. And I do see that that is, you know, pretty much where where you're heading. And I do feel like your person is heading there as well. Um, it's just taking them a little bit more time. So, Libra. If this resonated for you, let's get your final oracle message. And please do give me a thumbs up if it did resonate. And definitely let me know if this is what's going on with you because this was pretty intense, for your person at least. Unless the roles were reversed. Um, yeah. I'd be curious to know. So let's see, final message for Libra. Alright, we have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others and yeah i mean that could even be this three of pentacles here that compromise that um how was i referring to that yeah like a compromise or like you know um participation in the connection all right this could also be an energy of allowing others to help you okay so it could be that this person asks for your help at some point to be able to to do that and it's really going to be up to you i did have one more fly out here and it is wedding this situation involves marriage okay so just take that as you feel like you're meant to take it and i'm gonna leave it at that so libra thank you so much for watching and much love